energy vibration reading for the Sun Moon and Rising Aquarians it is the fourth week of November um, 2017 and in this week we have the energy of water it's going to be a very emotional week you're an air sign um, and the zodiac energy of water and fire so it's it's going to be really 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 a week where you're going to hope and that this week is going to end very soon because what is going to happen in this week is going to be a week where everything is up in the hair for you guys you have the crowning of the week as the tower okay so um, be aware that a lot of endings are going to be happening for new beginnings to come in um, um, on um, Monday you have a water energy the eight of cups you are thinking about leaving something behind on Tuesday you have the energy of the eye princess which is another water energy um, this is listening to your in in intuition working with your spirit guides in the middle of the week and the crowning of the week you have a fire sign and then um, on Thursday you have the energy of the hangman and the water so there's a lot of emotional situation that is taking place in your life and then you have the energy of debt in reverse transformation um, and that is in reverse so there this transformation is not really going to um, affect you it is just that um, with the energy of the tower there is going to be transformation but the tower already is a transformation then you have a situation with a hurt and fire in your weekend so you have the energy with organization and the Emperor and the Emperor can come in for you guys some of you guys as a father figure or someone in authority so whatever the situation that is going to take place in the weekend it has something to do with an authority person from an out of an organization okay so let's see what is happening the energy of the Sun is here which is good and the six of cups so there is going to be whatever is happening there is going to be a breakdown you have the king of coins you have the world because the debt is in reverse you have the seven of swords so whatever that the organization was trying to do it's not going to happen and you have the ten of wands what is happening here um, as I look at your reading there is a lot of situations that is going to be taken place and um, whatever the situation in organization or with a group of people on Saturday um, you're going to use the energy of the seven of swords whatever that was stolen it's going to be returned um, someone in the organization who is in a powerful place also is going to have a burden because they have done something that was injustice we have the energy of the king of coins that is trying um, you know to find an, an inner light to see what happens so and let's see because you have the Sun and the eight of cups eight of cups is moving away from a situation so the Sun energy is coming in to say yes do it because um, this situation doesn't serve you anymore so um, move away from it because on Friday it's a good day um, for you guys because the energy on Friday is going to be the energy of the world so whatever that is happening a lot of you are going to have a lot of regrets in this week and I guess the regrets are going to come in because it's the energy vibration of water and fire and, and and the element of water so there's a lot of transformation that is happening and a lot of people are going to have situations with a king of coins and this king of coins the Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and you're going to be trying to find that inner light within you to understand a situation with the skin it could be some of you who are married to this king of coins who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so look out for this because obviously this situation is going to affect you okay we have the tower which is the tower is number 16 no yeah the tower is um, number 16 and um, and then you have organization which is five so a lot of transformation is really going to happen and a lot of transformation is going to happen so you have the energy vibration of 
five working for you in this week which is saying that the debt is in reverse so there is going to be um, transformation happening in your life okay a lot of you will be looking for the inner light to see what exactly is going on with this person as we look at Monday the eight of cups is here the eight of cups is always a situation where you're thinking about leaving something behind whatever this emotional situation is it could be in a conflicts it could be emotional situation that you're dealing with with family with friends with organization with um, a situation that you have been going through and you've been thinking about leaving it and if you do that this energy of the Sun is going to come out which means that you're going to be successful and leaving it behind this new beginning is going to open up for you which is going to bring you to a positive place in your life so whatever the situation is that you're thinking about on Monday to leave behind go ahead and leave it behind because it, something better is about to, to come out for you on Tuesday another water energy on Tuesday you have the energy of the eye princess this is a very very positive energy on Tuesday because the energy of the eye princess is asking you to listen to your intuition um, with a situation that has to do with a friend family but this has to be with someone who is of a soul connection so whatever the situation is whatever is plain whatever is happening you are going to see that you if you listen to this information about someone who is either a soul family or your immediate family or soul groups or friends this is going to really happen for you and it is it is um, it is good um, listen to your intuition about this person or this situation whatever is happening on Tuesday and it's going to help you the crowning of your week um, you have the energy of the tower and the energy of the tower comes down because um, whenever we need to leave things behind and we won't the energy of the tower always come in because this is when situations around us are not um, healthy and you call upon the universal angels or sometimes they just bring in the tower because here you're having a regret about something that mean that you should have left this thing behind and we are going to see what is that regret all about what was this tower energy coming in you're going to have regret that means you should have leave the situation behind and it could be a connection with people um, um, it, it, it has something to do with your financial situation you're thinking and you're planning and you're having a conflict with a situation so whatever your financial situation is if you thought you know you were holding on in a relationship because of the financial situation um, leave it because you are now it's, it's as if the person come in and said you know no I'm, you're not getting it and you know I'm not going to ha um, help you out whatever the situation is or um, is a divorce and they say no I'm not going to give it to her because this and this and that that sort of a situation and it could have to do with someone who is um, the energy of the king of Wands. okay okay happy Thanksgiving it is Thursday and on Thursday you're trying to find your inner light and this happens a lot of time when people um, especially people sit in groups gathering a family situation and that sort of a situation because we have the six of cup here which is a connection with family members and that sort of a situation and it's as if you're in this group and you're thinking and there is someone this could affect you this could be your father who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or it could be um, a partner or someone or a business partner and you're trying to find something out about this person because um, something is array with this person it's Thanksgiving and you're maybe around this person you're trying to figure out what is it that I'm not seeing about this person and ask for clarity because the clarity will come in and I'm going to ask what is it that you Aquarian should know about this king of Pentacles um, you're dreaming about this person and your eye your intuition is telling you to have 
um, balance with this person you know you're it's as if this person you're daydreaming about this person and your intuition is saying to you you know have balance um, you know take it easy take it slow take it easy don't jump in a relationship just take it slow and take it easy and see where it is going on Friday we had the energy of debt in um, the reverse form which is extremely good because the energy of the world comes out and this is positive so um, the transformation with a tower on Wednesday already taken place and now the energy of the world so it's the ending of something and something good is coming in and whenever this happens with the debt in the reverse form that means the transformation already happened and now you are going to receive that information that a new beginning a new start is coming in and this is going to be positive so Friday is going to be one of your best day on Saturday we have the energy of the hurt which is bringing balance and whatever the situation was of its met a group of people institution of organization you are going to see that whatever that was stolen because someone tried to do something injustice and stole something from you someone has tried to do something injustice and stole something from you and it's as if you're going to go back and you're going to find out about this and whatever that was stolen is going to be returned to you so the hurt energies comes up here because they are helping you um, you are the energy vibration of the hair and the seven of swords is always a theft or something someone is trying to get away with something but they didn't and this is good on Sunday whoever this um, person was is going to um, have a burden this can also affect a lot of people a lot of people it's going to affect a lot of people because um, this could be your father or someone who's playing um, a father role to you and this situation that has happened and transpire is going to leave them with a burden okay so this is someone that could, could be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius who tried to do something and they're going to be because they're they've been caught and what is going to happen is that this burden is going to affect them so it could also be that is your father and and this father figure is being burdensome to you or someone who is a, a, a Leo a Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius because it is um, the energy of your work or some of you is going to have a situation at your work and especially you have to work extra or that sort of a thing and it felt as if a burden so this Sunday is going to affect a lot of you in different different ways so it, it, it depends on what is happening for you and how this is going to affect you whatever is happening the page of ones is coming towards you and bringing um, good news which is good um, what I can say for the people who have a situation with family member and that sort of a thing all you have to do is ask the angels of karma to like come in and uh, um, you know help you out with whatever situation is going in because obviously there is something that is affecting you and these persons and all you have to do is ask for healing because this is exactly what is happening you begin the week with the energy of the Sun and you end the week with the energy of the world which is a positive energy because these all these transformation that is happening in your life is really positive and with the energy of the number five because number five is going to be your energy it is going to be very good because it is moving you and transforming your life in a very positive way I am using um, the energy vibration of the light workers Oracle and I'm loving I've always um, loved it so let's see what they have for you the 19 an invitation to connect so what this is saying to a lot of you the invitation is here from the universal angels and guide to connect to connect and connect with your spirituality and 
connect with the spiritual beings and your guiding angels and um, by connecting you're going to realize and understand that this invitation came in for you guys to connect because you are not being connected to them you are a little bit disconnected and they are calling upon you so an invitation to connect love exists through our universe many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm among these are those who are aware of the spiritual apologite of the um, humans and are willing to able to help them by moving forward unlike those who choose their minds because they fear the unknown you have an open mind and an open receptive art beings from other worlds recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditional loving assistant in this world you will both benefit from this individual and help the planet so you are being offered an invitation to connect and how you do this is that you call upon the light beams the pure uh, positive light beams to come in so that you can connect met the right um, light beams who wants to deliver their messages okay so I always call upon my angels and guides and the ascendants masters and the godinas and there is a lot of universal beams that are entering the surface of this planet positive light beams you can call upon them and they will help you I guess that's why I use the shadow scape this because I've always guided which deck to use I got your back I got your back so this is good because once you call upon them you know to help they always bring you a message and they're telling you that they got your back the number 24 is the energy vibration of number six so let's see and see what they're saying to you you can split in the face of fear flip off those who bury the doors shake your fists to any who care or say anything because you sweet thing or divinely protected by the Duke most I all and forever amen so isn't that wonderful because what they're trying to say to you is that they have your back they are protecting you because a lot of you are going to be realizing that a lot of your spirit guides and um, soul family are coming through to connect with you and most of these beings are spirit beings and they can connect with you and help you throughout your life just ask them what is it that you want I want to say to each and every person namaste until next week please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign have a wonderful Thanksgiving for the people who are celebrating Thanksgiving remember love is the only thing that is real um, please like and share these videos namaste until next week